I do owe an apology to Zibit um, for just my terrible chess play. Um, in some sense, he's right that we're doing nobody a favor by my uh, style of play, where my style of play is that of somebody who doesn't understand openings and has to suffer the rest of the game because of it. Uh, truly, really it's just not a fun way to play chess. It's a great way to play pinball, but... Um, uh, it's not for everybody. feeling I'm going to get rolled here. Um, here we go. Oops, start by dropping f7. That's a good way to start. Yeah, but I do owe him an apology in the sense that He's right for one thing, that, um, just in general, the way I play makes chess less enjoyable and rich of a game um, than that way in which chess experts and masters play it. just a really nihilistic point of view where I just move and take things um, okay so I'm hitting this hitting that my really my real goal is to come back and hit the queen or something Tempting to take F2, and yet I realize it cannot. I should have just taken that. Well, that's next on the menu. I'm supposed to take that or not. Uh, I'm going to assume I should. It's gonna hurt. Hmm. 
Oh, that's not good. Wait, no, I can take that. If I can't, if I couldn't take that, I would be thoroughly hosed. Uh, This is my target. Uh-oh. Yeah, now I'm just scrooged there. You got me. That was very well played for somebody with such that rating. Uh, I think I've learned something from that. It's just don't castle queenside to try to win the game. Because those 1600s will get you every time if you castle into it. Um. Okay. Well, here I am, defying my own explanation as to what I learned. Um, so that's a thing. I guess that just proves what a rich and complex game chess is. That I can explain something, and then the next game defy that explanation. And not feel too bad about having done so. I'm curious if he's going to try to anchor the knight there, or what. Um,
I'm just going to play b3 or a3. I feel optimistic about my endgame chances here. Oh, did I lose my connection? That could prove quite inconvenient for the stream. Oh uh, no. So what was that bing 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 noise? It wasn't me losing and regaining a connection or something. Um, Well, here's the plan. Obviously he wants that square. I'm not sure that that's going to be enough for him. Actually hung the bishop. I need to do king a5, king b4. Holy moly, that was awful. Okay, well, I managed to win that somehow. Oh yeah, you're right. I could have just checked in and promoted in some order. Either way would have worked. Um, Knight of six. Okay, here we go. Now we see knight of six. Nope. Yet another coward. Somebody who prefers not to play the main line. And so we transpose into a better version of the main line. Knight a5 is knights stuck on the side of the board. Yeah, I guess this is okay. This might not even be an improved version. Um, whoops, that was bad. I should have done queen d3. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But also, this just gives my bishop some more room. What's that bing noise? I don't know. Alright. 
right, so now we throw everything in on the queen side, because he's made this weakness. And this is kind of a fun target to attack. how this works. Who needs openings when you can play endgames? No, but seriously, openings make chess a little bit more interesting um, in my limited experience with the game. Otherwise, you're kind of damned to a purgatory of just suffering through one game end game after another without really understanding what happened earlier in the game. All right, so I'm threatening Rook takes a seven. He could play rook a8 to stop it. I'm not sure what else he has in mind. Yeah. Now I just redevelop my bishop and I'm threatening this stuff. Uh, he ignores my threat and blocks the only square that his knight could use to defend said pawn. So I just take some time out and renew my threat here and make sure I don't lose on the king's side first. Um, Do I do d6? I'm so confused. Um, I don't see his attack, so I'm just going to go forward and take on a7. This is a defensive move. And with that, I force a queen trade, or perhaps better, and my opponent chooses not to play on. And that's his right to choose not to play on. Get away with d5 here. Uh, 
feeling that d5 is very getawayable with. Um, okay, we're going to stop bishop g5. What is this opening? Curious, what is this? Um, all right, so this cuts the defense of the bishop. try something. So I'm not just going to sit there and wait for him to crush me. We're going to fight to the bitter end. I'm going to have to look this up later because I just don't understand it one bit. could take that. And we're just going to keep this pin. What a weird, weird, weird position. Damn it, I missed a free knight. Uh, I could have had a free knight. Why is chess hard? Okay, so I have to get the bishop out this way. And then I'm going to have to move my knight back and... Oh, maybe not. He actually gave me this tempo. It's a really nice gift. Um, Well, I'm down a minute, but I have a really strong, strong position. Um, That just proves, I think that proves the strength of this time control, is that with the increment, you, your opponent can try to beat you on time, but it's just very difficult to do. Wow, 
Plus. I see Spinal Taps in second. That's pretty awesome. Stepped out of the pin, brought another attacker into the game. Um, could take, yeah, we're gonna take B7. There we go. Let me check something out here. Okay. I did have some doubts. Alright, so let's just try to develop the knight into... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'll definitely go with this. Um, this is a huge nuisance for black, as is my other knight move. Let's do it. See, that's why it pays to be good at openings and be good at every phase of the game. Because uh, then you don't have to suffer through the entire game when you can just win in the opening. It's unfortunate that the openings I do know are really, really not suited for this format. Um, like the fact that I know the Berlin defense it doesn't really work so well for Blitz, but I don't have time to study all the other openings, or even a, a subset of those necessary just to play um, excellent Blitz chess. I just don't have time for it. Okay, so knight g4 and then knight e5 again. This is my way of meeting um, this kind of unambitious setup. It's just inconvenient for white. I could have done knight c4 or knight e4. Probably not. Oh, look, I got a pin. Pin to win, guys. Pin to win. No, but honestly, that's just an exchange. It doesn't mean the game, it just means that I'm somewhat better in this one position. Um, okay, so now I'm up 
Still just an exchange. Uh, threatening to win a knight. And it's difficult for my opponent to escape that. Um, I say a knight. Apparently I'm winning a second exchange. Oh well. This is what peace activity does. It's really strong in blitz. But yeah, it's my misfortune that I happen to be streaming at the same time as Chess Bra. So, um, let's see, what do I do here? Oh, bishop b7 is how to play that. And then, only if I have to, then play f5. Um, yeah, now I'm going to get grilled here really bad. Um, so... Thanks to my lack of opening knowledge, I'm going to have to uh, try to salvage a difficult position. <laughs> um, huh. He doesn't go for the throat. Um, Apparently, I've salvaged this. How do I just finish my development and activate my last piece? My queen has to go somewhere. didn't I do this last... oh, okay. Never mind. I'm starting to see reasons why I did not do this last turn. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see where this goes. This is a fun discovery. I got a fork. Uh, he's got discoveries, too. Take out the threat on a8. So now I can just take here. I get this nice incidental discovery. Like, if you're going to force me to play a particular move, at least take a second or two and make sure that it's the move you want me to play. Um. Alright, so. Yep, I'm up material. Oh. 
Okay, I'm up a rook. My winning chances are very great in this position. Um, it does not mean I'm guaranteed anything. curious when my opponent will concede this. How long is this going to take him to figure out that this is something worth conceding? Um, I mean, even if he plays king g6 and rook g7, I just pin his rook. So... It's going to take some innovative planning for him to salvage this. Okay, a threatened mate. Let's see, is this mate? That looks like mate. was about to play rook g8 and I figured wait a second let's just think one moment before I commit to that and I found a better move yeah, how about one more and then I get some more rest Level, oh, yeah, my opponent's quality of play is increasing in general here. Um, Good play. It's good, good play. Um, obviously, he's going for cheapo on h7, and we're all wise enough that that's not going to work. Um, Hmm. Alright. How far into this murkiness dare I go? Let's develop this first, and then worry about murky tactics. deal with the murky tactics if we have to, but not before then. Oh, whoops, I miscounted. I am down by one here. Um, hmm, well, isn't that special? I should have played b5. Okay, well, um, Mark this because this is actually theoretically interesting. Uh, what's my standing? I don't know. Somewhere between first and last.
I think it's somewhere around 200th. It'd actually be nice if my little tracker could show that. Um, I don't know if that's showable or if it's something automatically capable of being tracked. Um, man, it'd be cool if I could track that in the bottom part of the stream where I'm currently just showing a rating. Um, okay. Well, this gets sharp. Why don't I just take an E5? Now, if I take an E5, I lose the knight. That's why not. Okay, so now he takes f6, right? Yep. Right on schedule. And... I want to target this. Try this. Works belong in open files, right? step back here. I'm still targeting this. That's not changing. No, no, that's fine. We're all fried at this point. I completely get it. That's what these marathons are supposed to do. It's just fry everybody. Um, oh, you're asking the actual tracker, not the hypothetical one I considered. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that's just a widget that, like, Leech Us uh, made. Oh my. Well, it looks like I'm walking into a fork. And there's nothing I can do about it. Um, let's at least get my queen out of this fork, right? Take my stuff. Walking into another fork, which he elects not to use uh, because he has other tactics that also work. This is not going so well. But I did say that I need to get some more rest so I can play well the remainder of the marathon. Um, and so perhaps this is a note on which I will um, take a break. I apologize to my audience for having to do so, but, you know, there's only so much I can do. Um, only so much anybody can do, really. 
All right, we got this double discover check thing on the horizon. YOLO Okay Shoot Strong in gameplay. something. Now I see it. Got some initiative here. I'm gonna roll for one more game and then call it. One more game. I can't end it on that note. There's just too much tension just to leave it hanging there. I feel like this is supposed to be bad for some reason. Just Black's development is kind of abysmal. I and mean, what's he gonna push next, right? C6? Is that his plan? He has to develop something. a free rook. We can't end it on that note either. <laughs> uh, how many games must I win before I can take a break? We just can't end it on that. I've won nine in a row. Somehow. I've made it to 103rd place. Somehow. But I just can't end it on such an awful note. We have to end it on a good chess game. And just practically speaking, it benefits me to keep playing win after win here, right? I mean, while the points are here for the taking, I should take them. Because they won't always be there. I might actually have to fight for a win um, against somebody who understands chess in one of these games. Ooh, 
this is painful. I'm gonna gambit. So he can take here. I take his queen, he takes mine, I do queen or bishop d4. And I've trapped a piece. Um, back here, I'm not trapping anything, but I do have some initiative. not playing aimlessly or carelessly here, so. Um, oh, I'm not winning a piece. I thought I was, but that's not the case. All right, so we got fun tactics. This is loose. I think I have some compensation for my pawn. Oh, now I could play bishop d2, right? Just winning a knight? Does not win a knight. Definitely does not win a knight. Um, okay, so I have to defend stuff. c3 is a clever resource, but how does he follow? Where is the continuation? If rook d8, I just do queen h4. I might extend my win streak to 10 in a row. Huh. This is not bad. Um, all right, now bishop on g5 is loose. Well, I better develop it somewhere. d2 did also come to mind, um, but that seemed a bit loose. but I don't see what better to play. And the reason I regret it is because rook d8 and forces me to play c5. Um, and I'm not sure what I do. This is a really interesting game. I bookmark these things with the intent of coming back to them later, and then I just really never go back to them. So this gets my bishop no longer on pre, and I'm threatening both of these knights. Um, oh, I'm just winning material. Well, how about that? Uh, unless there's some tactic, but I don't see it. Alright, 
it's not hanging my everything. So I'm threatening knight g5. This time without hanging the knight. Um, give my bishop a home. Uh, very clever. Alright, so there goes a pawn. Well played, sir. So he's gotten a jillion pawns. Um, nope. Ten in a row. I perhaps did not earn that one. Um, again, got to play against somebody who is able to beat us down and convincingly show us that it's time to retire for the night. It's going to happen. It might take a game, it might take a hundred games, but it's going to happen. I haven't decided where to put my bishop yet, so I've, I'm holding off on its development. Uh, I do want to get my knight over here. Although now, trading off for this bishop looks pretty appealing. I'm just really afraid of my opponent's kingside attack. So I trade off to try to reduce the strength of that attack. Um, we're both trying to outmaneuver each other here. I'm trying to grab the d4 square without losing c5. It's not so clear to me what happens. He offers a draw. Why would I want to draw? I understand that this is a difficult position, but just because you managed to exchange down doesn't mean I'm going to accept a draw. 
Just because this is an equal position doesn't mean I'm accepting a draw. We're playing this out, buddy. We've got to prove some kind of advantage or disadvantage here. We didn't come here just so you can win some rating points and all that stuff. Um, we came here to play a game, and we're going to play it. Hmm. All these squares are attacked. It takes every bit of determination to not rush in. Certainly, I can make more aggressive moves, um, but discretion is the better part of valor here. And I don't want to rush in before um, doing so would yield some dividend. You and me both, brother. You and me both. Neither, neither of us wants to lose a game over uh, having neglected a pawn move.
that makes it 11 in a row. I am just on a roll. Um, I'm suspecting that everybody's tired. Myself included. But, you know, if the points just keep rolling in, I'm going to keep taking them. And he goes berserk. Yeah, because why not go berserk? Um, what's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, let's play a French. What better opening to go berserk in than the French? Not only does he have to beat me, he has no increment. Um, oh, okay, so he does win a pawn. Um, but if I understand correctly, if you go berserk... Oh, did they change that? No, he has no increment. So... Like, he has to physically move the pieces fast enough to defeat me. Um, I'm not sure that he's going to be able to move enough pieces quickly enough to actually remove enough uh, to win the game within the allotted time. Oops. Well, I walked into kind of a major fork there. What a disgusting position. Um, I think he could have easily outplayed me if he had just not hit the Go Berserk button. Um, but as it stands now, it's, it just seems a physical impossibility that he'd be able to move the pieces quickly enough to defeat me. That was weird.
12 in a row. Tough break for Dave. But I'm thinking that going Berserk might not be the way to go. Yeah, just one more. We're just, we're just doing one more. One more. Yeah, I'll just keep saying that. And, um, you know, eventually they'll pair me with an LM or somebody just ridiculously strong, and I'll get my butt handed to me and we'll call it a night. Here we go, DB Razor. DB Razor, show me how chess is played. I implore you, please, please let this night end. Okay, I can't even calculate this. I don't think any of us can. Um, everything is hanging. By both players. Truly an extraordinary feat. So if the knight moves, I just made him. But all my pieces are defended and everything he has is hanging. So it's hard to imagine this going wrong for me. pinned, otherwise tactics might work better. Um, we'll take here. He gets my bishop. Um, I need to get my king out of here. This is challenging. Okay, so I defend this, attack it, whatever. Uh, stuff's everywhere. My queen protects this, which I cover a lot of squares. And now this is my next target. C1, my bishop does protect this, so worst comes to worst, I do silly things. Like, well, I know I'm able to bring my other rook out and try to exchange all the rooks. Um, that's the point. Okay, 
Can somebody please just defeat me so I can go back to bed? Is that too much to ask? making progress on um, the being defeated from. No, that's really good progress. Um, nope, this doesn't threaten F7. Uh, okay, well I'm sacking. I don't have much choice in the matter. Thank you very much, DV Razor. Game well played. Game well played. Obviously, I had to go King H1, but who knows? I'm probably still losing there somehow. Rook E1. Rook E1, Knight G1. I mean, it's just a really precarious position. We'll run Stockfish on this. And thanks to one and all for watching. Um, yep, good game, DB Razor. Well played. Very exciting. Um, and thanks to one, for all, one and all for watching. I'll come back later with the commentary on this game, unless Stockfish finishes this analysis quickly, and then we can point out what happened. Uh, best of luck to DB Razor and to everybody else in the tournament. I will be participating in the tournament later today. Alright, so, oh, it's a pretty even game until I did this thing. Oh, wow. So this is actually okay. Did I miss anything earlier? Bishop takes f3. Queen takes f3. That seemed highly implausible. I see. It's the thing I missed earlier. Uh, I was looking at this. I saw rook takes and he wins by bishop. What I failed to do is go one move deeper. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys around.